Hi, this is John and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking to you about what to do when you have increased the intensity of your workouts. How does it affect your workout week and what you can do to adjust that workout so that you can make the best progress possible, allowing for that growth to happen that you've stimulated in the gym. So, over the years there have been bodybuilders who have been, and, and that's really the, the lab study, that's really the, the test subjects, so to speak, that we can, you know, base all of our training off of, whether they're enhanced with steroids, growth hormone, et cetera, et cetera, or not. The training programs that they did and some of the things that they did too, and how they made proper or improper adjustments may have affected their training and because they're extremists, they basically did a lot of the homework for us and showed us a lot that we can learn from. So today, this video is about strictly when you find yourself getting ultra motivated, the summer's coming up, the show is coming up, the event is coming up, the wedding is coming up, whatever it is that you have found is your motivation right now to train harder you jump in that gym with your training partner, you're there at five in the morning or you're, you're there at 5 p.m. after work and you're ready to blast away. When you're blasting away like that in the gym and suddenly you're doing more intense things in your training that you normally wouldn't be doing. I'm not saying that you were doing a little haphazard affair before or lazy workouts, but you know the difference. You know what I'm saying that when it does come time to pull the trigger and say, all right, I have eight weeks to go to this event. Doesn't matter what the event is, as long as it's motivating to you. When you have that eight week signal sent in your brain and then you head off to the gym, you're going to be highly motivated. You will find yourself doing more supersets, forced reps, uh, static holds, negatives. You'll find yourself doing more exercises than you normally would be doing even in some cases. In some cases, doing more volume than you ever did before in the name of getting in better shape. But listen, here is the catch. The more intense you get with your training, the more intense you get with it, you're going to have to adjust for that intensity. And now I'm going to run a little clip here from an interview that my good friend Rick Drayson did over on his channel uh, on Rick's Corner, the TV show, the Rick's Corner that I do regularly. I'm a guest on his show, but he was interviewing Tom Platts. Tom Platts, for those of you that don't know, was a golden era bodybuilder from back in the late 70s, early 80s, and he was famously known for his legs. But I want you to listen to this one part where Rick asks him about his training at this one point in time, and Rick was witnessing him training his legs ultra hard. And Tom acknowledges, he says, that he could only do that type of training, that type of a workout, only once every two weeks. What? What did he say? Once every what? Two weeks. I mean, er, put on the brakes. I mean, this is really breaking news. The man with the most famous legs in all of bodybuilding was only training his quads once every two weeks. But listen and watch. Listen how he says On squats, um, I remember seeing you work out at World Gym where Joe had the second gym. Yeah. And extensions. And you were going on extensions to where you just couldn't do one more rep. You were just rocking it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do that every workout? Yeah. I, I found that if I really, really trained intense and almost insane, mm -hmm. you know, having that switch where you go, okay, here's mm -hmm. normal and here's crazy insane. Mm -hmm. Once, if I would do that and really go to the point where I couldn't do any more and get static reps and partial reps and have somebody push down on it. Saw that, yeah. Uh, I couldn't train that often. I mean, people don't know. Well, they, they think that's the way to train, and it did work for me with being careful, of course, not trying to injure yourself. But you know, a leg, leg workout like you saw me do, that, it was every two weeks at the most. Yeah, it couldn't be every other day. No, no. I mean, you know, I did that for Sergio Jr., Sergio Lipa Jr., mm -hmm. And he used to train every three to five days, it's SWAT day. Mm -hmm. and, um, he's, now he's like, when I was working with him, it's like, you know, eight or ten days. Like, I don't think I'm ready yet. You know, okay. <laughs> it's a different mentality. Do you think the squats are the best exercise? Now you heard it yourself. The man was doing those things, but he could only do it 
once every two weeks. So take it as a lesson. He's an extremist, okay? If you in your own training find yourself training harder, you want to reap the benefit of all that effort that you're putting out there, whether it's, like I just said earlier, more force reps, more supersets, less, to less total time in the gym, you know, getting in a 45 minute workout in 35 minutes is way more intense because you knocked down the time. All of those things, when you add them up, you're training more intensely. When intensity goes up, the duration of the workout has to go down or the frequency of the workout. How many times can you continue to train like that in a given week? You can't. So you have to cut down on it just like Tom Platts did. And he reaped the benefit of that training and smartly taking those days off. So I'm saying the same thing to you. If your workouts are getting more intense, be smart about it. Experiment with it. Cut down a little bit on the days that you're training. Take a few extra days off here and there. See if in fact you don't recover better, grow better. Do it fearlessly. Do it like, you know, this is something that you is an experiment for yourself. You don't have much to lose. You're not going to shrink all within a week or two. Muscle doesn't disappear that fast. So that's it for today. From my heart to you, John Hart, more intensity, less duration, and less frequency to grow better. That's it. Thank you for watching this video and all of my videos. Please take the time to subscribe and like and give me your comments below. I love hearing them. Thank you.